GABA is Guaranteed Annual Benefit Adjustment. Back at the turn of the century, in 1999, the legislature agreed that retired teachers after three years of retirement should receive an annualized 1.5% increase in their benefit. So going forward until the day they die, every year thereafter they would receive a 1.5% increase in their guaranteed annual, in their pension. That's the guaranteed annual benefit adjustment. A session earlier in 1997, the legislature determined that public employees should have a guaranteed annual benefit adjustment. And that at that time was 1.5% after one year of retirement. Later, the legislature in 1999 decided that that guaranteed annual benefit adjustment for public employees could be 3%. Then it realized over time that perhaps that was a little richer than what um, the actuaries had at one time proposed. And so it cut back that 3% to 1.5% for all public employees hired after July 1, 2007. I know we're getting into the weeds here. This is really dense stuff. But the bottom line is actuaries own this universe. You know, they give us an idea of how much things cost in order to push a pension forward. And benefits that ascribe to that pension have a cost. Well, actives pay for that stuff. And then when they retire, they expect it to be in fact, there when they retire. I mean, that's, that's the whole point of a pension. And so we are working now on the GABA end of things. We have successfully saved and amortized the pensions per se. So the GABAs are, if you will, an add-on benefit that we believe the state promised to employees, and that promise must be met. By the way, the teacher's retirement system covers all certified licensed personnel who provide direct professional services to kids in K-12 around the state, some university faculty. It also includes administrators, by the way. So that's one system, and that's one of the largest public employee retirement systems in the state. The other, the public employee's retirement system per se, uh, covers state employees, county employees, municipal employees, and K-12 school district employees who are not providing professional services to children.